Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video using Universe Sandbox Square we're going to answer a simple question. How often are the stars born in our galaxy and also in our universe? And you're going to find out how many stars are made essentially every second. We're going to do a little bit of math together and we're going to learn something new. Welcome to What The Math. <laughs> So this is one of the simulations uh, in Universe Sandbox Square where I actually placed um, a not a star yet. It's basically a gas giant that we're going to now turn into a star by adding quite a lot of uh, mass to it. And by essentially first turning it into a brown dwarf, which it's going to become in a few uh, seconds here, as soon as we add this or change this to about 20, possibly maybe a little bit more. It's going to start acquiring heat, it's going to start uh, getting a little bit more toasty on the inside and it might even start acquiring um, nuclear reaction at some point. Uh, but basically, yeah, this is essentially Jupiter that we're changing into a star. Now, in our galaxy, this event uh, or a similar event where basically uh, various dust turns into solar material and becomes stars happens quite often. Maybe not as often as you think, but it does happen quite a lot. So here we are, we're now at a point where this is essentially a red dwarf and it's going to become a main sequence star. Now, so we've created a star and this is going to be now a main sequence star that will then uh, live off its life and at some point go supernova and create new dust, new material and a lot of new... Uh, elements that may have not existed there before. We're going to do this in a few seconds as soon as we reach a certain mass and there we go. We actually surprisingly created a pulsar. All right, great. Now, what we're actually going to be talking about though is the interesting idea of how many stars are actually being created every second in the universe. This is going to be our ultimate question that we're going to be answering. So let's actually start a completely new simulation and in this case, it's a simulation that uh, essentially creates a supernova. So once this occurs, a lot of material is released into space, a lot of space dust is created, and then it starts to accumulate and uh, create a, a protostar, an early star about which I've talked about in one of the previous videos. Now, when this occurs, uh, these stars essentially, at some point, begin to acquire so much mass that they actually uh, start a nuclear fusion on the inside and produce quite a lot of energy. Uh, we can actually simulate this by using this simulation right here. We can actually can remove Sirius from here and let's place um, a very large, very massive gas giant instead of Sirius B and we will now try to basically make uh, Jupiter here acquire all of this mass that was supposed to be inside of that gas giant. So let's actually launch a bunch of particles at this Jupiter and this is essentially a gas giant acquiring a lot of material, a lot of mass that will eventually make it much larger and turn it into a star-like object. So this is going to happen anytime soon because I've actually launched quite a lot of material at it and here we go. Oh boy, okay. Too much, maybe too much stuff. Oh, look at that. I think I've discovered a new bug because we've created a black dwarf instead of an actual... Um, star well that's cool definitely an interesting bug but anyway so imagine this is now a star now what we know about our galaxy is that in our galaxy every year about three new solar mass objects are born in other words we uh, acquire either three new suns or three new sun-like objects or old stars acquire uh, the mass of three suns so you can kind of say that, well, because the uh, sun is relatively more massive than the majority of stars in our galaxy, and because some other stars like this one, for example, are a lot more massive than our sun, uh, on average, you could say that maybe approximately three stars a year are born in the galaxy Milky Way. And that's, of course, not a lot. Uh, when you think about it, you know, when you actually think about the actual galaxy, this huge, huge place with uh, something like 200 or possibly even 300 billion stars, only three new stars are born here every single year. All right, well, that's, that's, that's cool. But here's the thing. According to the recent discovery, there is actually something like a trillion galaxies out there. 
and it's obviously going to be impossible for me to place so many galaxies but we're gonna try to place a few just so you can kind of get an idea so right now we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and I think this is about 20. This is approximately 20 galaxies. So I guess you could call this a kind of a local group of this galaxy that we had originally. So in, in this case, because there's 20 galaxies now, uh, in total, this would produce approximately 60 stars per year. That's, that kind of makes sense, right? 20 times 3 is 60. Well, how about in the universe? So how many new stars are actually born um, every single year in the universe. Well, we've discovered that there's something like a trillion galaxies out there. We used to think that it was only 100 billion, but we've recently discovered it's a lot more. There's like a trillion galaxies, which is obviously one followed by 12 zeros. If there's a trillion galaxies, it means that 3 trillion stars are born every year. Now, how many stars is this per second? Well, there are close to about 32 million seconds a year. Now we're talking about 3 trillion stars per year. So what we're going to do is divide 3 trillion by 32 million. And what we're going to get is 94,000 stars per second. Now, even if I keep clicking really, really fast, there's no way I can actually simulate that. Right now, I think I placed about 100 stars. There is like 94,000 new stars born every single second in our universe. That is a lot and a lot of stars. And when you think about it, that also means that many of these stars will actually form Earth-like planets, and some of those uh, planets might even develop life on them. So every single second, there's actually quite a lot of possibility that life is born somewhere in the universe. Now, this is a lot of stars, but definitely not 93,000. And just imagining the fact that there's so many, so many stars that are created and also obviously destroyed every second makes you wonder and makes you kind of feel in awe of how huge our universe really is. And well, that's really all I wanted to say in this video. And hopefully you learned a little bit more about our universe and of course about space sciences from this video as well. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe if you still haven't. Share this video with someone who you think might enjoy learning through video games and learning space sciences, math and sciences in general. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to support this channel on Patreon if you can. You don't have to, but if you can, that would be helpful. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for all your support. Game you later, and as always, bye bye. And let's actually zoom in and see what's happening in this particular galaxy. And it looks like because I placed the stars without really any orbit, they're all slowly approaching the central black hole, which means that they'll either pass by really close and then get swung out of the solar system here, or the galactic system that is, or might combine into the black hole and cause a little bit of destruction on the way. That's pretty awesome.